<laughs> oh, that is so cool. Oh my gosh, I love it. Just wrapped up sharpening some knives for some customers. And now I'm very excited because it's fun time and it's mail time. Got a little something in the U.S. Postal Service that I'm very excited about. This is my first look at these and oh, 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 oh. we got ourselves some 80-25 neon G10 scales from Flytanium. All right. Let's slap them on. So the first thing we're going to do here with these brand new G10 scales from Flytanium. So we're just going to pop off this pocket clip. This is a T6 driver. All right, set that aside here. But as you can see, sneak peek, we got a new one. More on that later. There's one more screw here. the body then we're gonna rotate around here the same here as you can see I like to work in a pattern that way if a screw is a little different which on some knives they are It'll make sure that it gets back in the right place. All right, now onto the pivot. That one is a T10. Just gonna unscrew this. Now, as you'll see here in a second, the Demco AD 20.5 is a super simple knife to assemble and disassemble with one caveat. There is a spring in here that wants to launch itself to the moon. Okay, so we got one scale off. Pop it over. We have a steel liner. Just kind of gently pry that off. Oh, and there's my spring. All right. Call the Powerball. It's my lucky day. Got a bearing here, blade here, and we have our pivot. Our other scale, steel liner. And on this flytanium, G10 scale. I'm really excited that they did a little trick where they're gonna cover up these little liner holes, which I think is gonna be super sweet. Okay, it's got that old scale. We don't need it anymore. Just gonna grab a little cleaning cloth. Clean these off. I'm using this proprietary blue lube cleaner from Benchmade. You absolutely do not have to. Lots of folks use rubbing alcohol and it works great. Alright, so now we're just going to take, clean off the oil here. Okay, we don't have to clean the old scales because we got new scales coming in. Oh, oh, coming in hot, I do say. Wow, these are cool. These are one of those things that I was just like instantly ready to purchase the moment that I saw them. I have a couple of these 8020.5s. I want more. It's a disease, it's a problem. Just gonna pop that bearing back in there. A little bit of 10 weight nano oil. A couple drops. 
spin it around. Get this guy in here too. Okay. Need my back spacer. That is one thing that I'm a little disappointed about. So that this guy doesn't come with a new backspacer. I think that's a missed opportunity. I should clarify, I bought these on my own. These folks are not a sponsor. But hey, Flytanium, Lynch Northwest. My door's always open, baby. All right. Now, yeah, we'll clean that pivot off a little bit. You can let me know in the comments all the things that I do like a silly billy. I welcome it. I am a silly billy. I'm a silly old bubs. I'm having a good time. Put that guy on there. All right. Slide this here. Put our blade back on there. All right, let's see if we can be as lucky this time with the spring. It just nestles right back in there. All right. And that is in the lock place. If you've ever been curious about the uh, internals of the shark lock, there you go. It is really that simple and it is beautiful. I think, personally, this is one of my favorite knife designs. I really got my eye on one of the titanium and 3V ones. Is uh, boy, boy, I'd like to have one of those. Okay. I'm going to pop this bearing back around here. Put a little bit of our 10 weight nano oil here. Then we're just going to press this over the top here. Kind of build it. A little section at a time. Now we're ready for the second scale. Oh, look how clean that looks. My goodness. Wow. Okay, we'll start with our pivot. Put a little bit of Loctite, the stick. Just keep everything held together here. We're just gonna Get the pivot in place and we'll come back and adjust that later. All right. Mm. Beautiful. I'm already grubbing it up with my hands. I don't think that's going to be an issue with these scales. I just, I'm working with metal all the time. I have particularly grubby hands. One thing to keep in mind is you don't want to reef on the screws here too tight when you're just getting it all put back together. You can come back and snug them up after you get everything back together, but I do this all the time and I can't tell you how many times I have ended up needing to redo something all right now here i got these screws supplied by lynch northwest here because i thought what a perfect occasion to just add a little bit of extra sauciness. I don't know if you can see that. Oh yeah. 
Also a deep carry clip, which I'm very much excited about. These screws were supplied with. Oh, these actually came with a scale. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? Bubs, you're going crazy. Oh man. This is coming together so nice. All right. Let's get these suckers. That, all right. Do a little bit more cleanup of the blade here. I have to use a new cloth to get it all the way clean. Check for blade play. I'm playing a little bit. Still a little bit more. No play. Now we're a little stiff. We can be a little looser than that. Oh, baby. So smooth. No play? No play. We are we are golden. Look at that. We're centered up. Okay. Now it's time to just snug up all of our body screws. Still looking centered. My goodness gracious. That looks sick. Oh man. Flytanium. Let's work on the backspacer. Let's sell it. I will buy it just as fast as I bought these scales. Woo! That is classy. This one was the Blade HQ exclusive um, Jade Grivery. And now, it is so saucy. Oh, this is so awesome. I am just blown away with how nice this looks. Just a fantastic mod to an already fantastic knife. This is the Demco Knives 80 20.5 Flytanium Scales, and this is a pocket clip from Lynch Northwest. Check these guys out. They're making incredible stuff. Really happy with how this came out. Um, if you like this video, please like it down below. If not, leave a comment. Tell me what I can improve upon. I'm always trying to be better. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. It costs you nothing to subscribe and like a video, but it could mean the world for me and my family. I appreciate you tuning in, and please let love and light fill your life. See you next time.